Ah, uh, damn, our luck's just getting worse for the day. What are you going on about? Not what, but whom? Do you know the drifter that the pioneers caught? Huh? Who's... Yeah, what about him? That guy got away. But the problem is, Ooh. he was not... Take this! Die! 
Why have you gone on like this?
your tongue so you can't knock on the door anymore eh as the teacher said courtesy distinguishes us from bandits and other animals 
Wait a moment. You're not one of ours. A bandit, then. Don't look like one. Though you never know with them bandits. Different shit every day. Am I right or what, Senya? You're always right, Admiral, sir. Uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is brown enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps we should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! Yeah! Trying our best, Admiral, sir! Ah, quit your yapping! Making a worse racket than the damn aquas in heat! No respect for our guest, either! He can't get a word in edgewise! Don't mind them. To our meeting! That's a good tea! You fussy, ground-loving rats don't drink it, though! Radiation! Radiation! Radiation, my ass! Radiation. Just look at us! Dangerous. We're all healthy as can be! <laughs> Thanks for coming here. See how happy my boys are? We don't really have anyone to talk to here anymore. They all left We're all but forgotten here. Even Roman forgot about us. Yet he was here with us when we built this base. All the boys remember that, don't you now? Yes, he was here! I remember. We all remember. That's right, boys. You all remember. But that bastard just forgot! And the other ground-loving rats, too! They all forgot we're protecting them all with our lives here. At first, they were so happy. They shouted, We'll kill all the bandits! The pioneers are cowards! The teacher is wrong! We're better off attacking! Didn't they, boys? Yeah, they did! They shouted their throats sore! Yeah, louder than those bandits we shot! There you have it. My boys do remember. And those don't. You could always count on them when you wanted someone to shout and call pioneers names. Aye, but when the going got tough and the Aquas started attacking in their hundreds, they changed their tune. Oh, radiation. Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, the girls say teacher told them to tell us that we have to get out. Well, fighting the Aquas ain't as fun as hanging bandits from the posts. You can rob the bandits when you kill them, but mutants don't have much worth taking. So who cares if they're about to eat the whole valley, right? Pathetic rats. That's who they rats. are. Ground-loving rats. A bit late to start listening to the teacher, too. Though, those rats don't care whom they listen to. Be it teacher, or the girls. If doing so gives them an excuse for chickening out. So, they all left. The cowards. Even the pioneers have more spine than that slime. They followed Ludmila to the dam, 
They were going to dig the tunnels, and then go along the reservoir, those adventurers. I've no idea if they actually got anywhere. But they weren't afraid of no radiation, that's for certain. Well, the only person who still has balls in that sorry lot is Olga. She did visit us a lot here, and she always thrashed those cowards at council sessions. Visit us, my ass! It's you who she visit! Yeah, right. Me! Though, if not for my spine wound, Olga and I would have turned this valley upside down. But now, who needs a cripple? To hell with her! A woman on a ship is bad luck. Besides, we stayed with you. Yes, my boys did stay here. I had to do some persuading to make them stay, though. Even you were going to abandon your old friend, weren't you? Weren't you? Come on, Admiral, sir. We'd never do that. Yeah, yeah. Tell that to this new guy. He seems to be all ears. But I can read you all like a book. And I say, you are going to leave me. And had I not brewed mighty, extra, super strong that day, you would have. No doubt about that. Hey, careful with the guitar! Got it, sir. I'll be careful. Come on, remember, this thing is an instrument. Yes, sir, an instrument. What the hell is up with you today? Do you want to scrub the deck so bad? Sorry, Admiral. Don't be sorry. Be better. How about you play something instead of dropping that guitar? I'd go for a shanty. Yes, Admiral. One shanty to coming hell with up. Her. To hell. You're all ground loving rats. Rats. <laughs> Yes, I've been thinking. Why don't we have a smoke? I say we should. Oh, this is good. Strong, the way I like it. This tea is as good for smoking as it is for brewing. It can also cure any sickness. And... Solve your marital problems! <laughs> this smell is an acquired taste. But I like it a lot. And my boys here don't have any problems with it. Not anymore. You know what? Just stay here with us. Living here is fun. <laughs> we can talk, eat and drink all we want. We'll find you a bunk tomorrow. I'll take a nap in the meantime. Just a little rest. Good tea! Good tea!
Roger. Get to the damn double time, sir. Over. Damn, you're alive! I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. Let's go, Artyom. Hear the counter-react? There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it'll bring an end to this valley. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. We can't stay here. Nobody can, really. Ah, well... See that zipline? Those kids built it, back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. <clears throat> we gotta hurry. I think something's wrong at the Aurora. It seems that Anna is not doing too good. We'll know more soon. Come on, Artyom! Damn, that is a lot of dirt! Man, I gotta tell you, I met this awesome girl here. She's drop-dead gorgeous. Name's Olga, an instructor. Everyone respects her. Plus, she's pretty understanding. Believe me when I said we're not enemies. She was the one who let me go from their camp. Love at first sight. I kept telling you people about my animal magnetism. So, here's your proof. <laughs> she was so smitten. She even walked with me. And, you know, this is something new for me. I hated to say goodbye. I asked her to come with us. Ah, I can't leave them all. She's so strong. So now I have this thought stuck in my head. I hope Olga persuades all those guys to leave. And leaves herself. I don't like this feeling, Artyom. There's this beast I saw. A bear the size of a freaking house. Hear that? I think it smelled us. This bridge has seen better days. You alive there? Huh? What the hell? God damn! this! Artyom! Get out of here! Ah, shit! Ah, uh.
Come on! What an enormous beast! Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. We're done. I told you people, they just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosha. I can't just up and leave like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn like... Like children, I guess! Even though they look like beasts, those pioneers, huh? Ah, she'll handle them all right! You guys really had us worried there. Anna is in bad shape. We must move. Time is short. Neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His old guy's there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. You know, when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there, and if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You will save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please, stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Artyom, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratucha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! 
Come to the bridge! Stepan, come to the bridge! All right, one moment! Tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone bully you? Olga! Don't worry about it. Why are you going to be okay? Anna is strong. Afraid? What are We did the exam in the end and reservoir. I have to leave the valley. As soon as possible. At least before the rainy season starts. The dam is barely holding, and if it gives, the valley will be washed away, and everything that remains will be deadly. Please.